So ever since Tommy Andreasen revealed that the next season of Ninjago may be kind of similar to Star Wars Return of the Jedi, it's been on my mind quite a lot, and I've been speculating about it, well, quite a lot. Ever since he did actually say that, I know quite a few others have also been briefly speculating on it, and today I've come up with just a few different reasons as to how this could be playing out in 2022. Okay, so when you first think of Return of the Jedi in Jargo, one big thing that myself and clearly a lot of other people thought of is maybe there's going to be a Lloyd vs. Garmadon plot happening next year, or at least something similar that's along those lines. That would make quite a bit of sense, right? Son vs. Father, Protagonist vs. Antagonist, you know, that does all line up perfectly. Now for this possible scenario, I do think it would be awesome. I cannot wait to see where Garmadon's story goes in the future, however my one small complaint I guess you could say is mainly just the fact that this has been a recurring trope in Ninjago since the very beginning actually. I kind of think that maybe now it's time for something new. It all mainly depends on how it's executed really. I just hope that it's not anything mediocre as, you know, all that would be left then is a very rep repetitive story, but the one thing that really could save this idea is if they added a unique spin on things, or just made it extra enjoyable and fun to watch. Another theory that I came up with when first hearing about this news was the possibility of Garmadon kind of realising all of his wrongdoings and saving Lloyd at the end in some way. Maybe Lloyd gets into a spot of trouble or something. Once again, that would line up perfectly with the Star Wars themed plot Tommy Andreasen mentioned. Maybe that would work very well. We've never really seen anything like this happen before in Ninjago and in general, and I think that's a parallel that would I think would work incredibly well within Ninjago, I am totally down to see something like that. Especially if it did happen at the end of the next instalment too, it could very well make for a em very emotional scene to watch, maybe even just as emotional as Nia's quote-unquote death, I think this would also work insanely well, and is the option that I most want to see happen, it'd be phenomenal to watch. One thing that I did want to clear up is something that I definitely saw quite a lot of in the comments of my, in one of my last videos, but what I definitely don't think is going to be happening is just a space season. While it would be cool to see, I do not think that Tommy was hinting at just a general space themed season at all. I mean, he did literally specifically choose Return of the Jedi here in his comment, if he was really just hinting at you know, just a space season in general, he probably would have just said something like Star Wars, you know, just in general. There's no reason to just pick out that one specific movie if he was talking about a space theme. It's definitely going to be more plot related, I think. Realistically, though, it could be anything from this movie, I guess. Although I think the two options I've mentioned are probably going to end up being the most likely, and they are 100% the two options that I would love to see the most. Both would be incredible to see. Whatever happens though, for now, this whole idea of a Star Wars parallel in 2022 has me even more hyped than before. It's like these hints just keep getting better and better, which is just insane to say really. With all of this being said, do be sure to drop your thoughts on all of this in the comments. I'd love to hear your thoughts regarding all of this. If you did enjoy today's video, please consider subscribing to the channel. If you're new here and have been enjoying the content, please also consider leaving a like on today's video. And, you know, turn on the notification bell to never miss out on any of my future content. With all of this being said, I will see you all in my next one.